Welcome to Terracotta Creation, where we explore the deep connections between science, philosophy, and ancient wisdom. In today's video, we uncover a fascinating mystery. Did the Vedas understand quantum duality long before modern science? Join us as we explore the multidimensional nature of reality, where creation and destruction, wave and particle, and the observer beyond all perception exist together, just as described in both quantum mechanics and the ancient philosophy of Shiva Shakti. We live in a world that seems clear and fixed, solid objects, measurable distances, and time moving forward in a straight line. But modern physics has uncovered something strange at the quantum level. Reality is not fixed at all. Quantum mechanics tells us that particles do not have definite states until they are observed. They exist in a state of superposition, where they can be both zero and one at the same time, both here and there, both wave and particle. But what if I told you that the Vedas described this concept thousands of years ago? According to ancient Indian wisdom, the universe is not just a collection of separate things, it is an interwoven field of dualities that exist together. This is beautifully symbolized in the concept of Shiva and Shakti, the cosmic forces of creation and destruction. Let's start with the first layer of duality, the balance between creation and destruction. The universe is always expanding, forming new galaxies and stars, but at the same time old stars are collapsing into black holes. This is similar to what happens in quantum mechanics, where a system exists in superposition, both zero and one at the same time, until measured. In Vedic knowledge, Shakti represents one, the force of creation and expansion. Shiva represents zero, the force of destruction and dissolution. But here's the key insight. Shiva and Shakti always exist together. There is no moment where only one exists, just like a quantum state that exists in both possibilities simultaneously. This means that reality is not just made of things being created or destroyed, Instead, it is made of a continuous field where creation and destruction are happening at the same time, just like a quantum qubit that exists as both zero and one before observation. Now let's go deeper. Science discovered something remarkable. Light behaves as both a wave and a particle. This is called wave-particle duality. But what if this duality exists within every force of creation and destruction? In Vedic philosophy, both Shiva and Shakti contain their own internal duality, just like how modern physics says that light is both a wave and a particle at the same time. This means that inside every act of creation, there is both unmanifested energy, Brahman wave, and manifested form, Maya, particle. Likewise, in every moment of destruction, there is both the disappearance of form, particle dissolving, and the continuation of energy, wave remaining. So, just like in quantum mechanics where a photon exists as both a wave and a particle, the universe exists as both a formed reality and an unformed potential at the same time. If the universe is made of these dualities, Shiva and Shakti Brahman and Maya, who or what is actually experiencing this reality? Modern physics says that when we observe a quantum system, the wave collapses into a particle, making it real. But Vedic wisdom goes beyond this. It says that there is an ultimate observer beyond all dualities. This is called Atman, the pure consciousness that does not collapse reality but simply experiences it. In quantum physics, observation determines what we see. In Vedanta, awareness determines how we experience reality. Atman does not interfere, it simply witnesses all possibilities at once. Just as the quantum field contains all potential outcomes, Atman holds all layers of existence together without changing them. Now, let's put everything together. The universe is not just one layer of quantum reality. It is a multi-layered field that operates across different dimensions. Shiva and Shakti, the superposition of creation and destruction, like zero and one in a quantum system. Brahman and Maya, the wave-particle duality inside zero and one, like a photon existing as both a wave and a particle, and Atman, the ultimate observer, consciousness that witnesses all of it without collapsing reality. Modern science is still learning about this. While physics explores wave-particle duality, 
The Vedas describe the same concept at multiple levels of existence. Instead of a single measurement collapsing reality, the universe functions as a continuous, infinite quantum field where perception determines experience. This means that reality is not just being created or destroyed, it is being continuously experienced at multiple levels, beyond time, space, and observation. So where does this leave us? Is quantum mechanics just now discovering what the Vedas understood long ago? Or is there still a missing link between science and ancient wisdom? What if the universe is not just a single quantum system, but a multi-layered, self-observing reality? What if observation is not about collapsing possibilities, but about navigating between different layers of perception? It is possible that ancient knowledge went even further than modern science, suggesting that reality is not just measured, but experienced through awareness itself. Let's explore these mysteries together and find the missing link between science and consciousness. If this video gave you a new perspective on quantum reality, hit like, subscribe, and let's uncover these secrets together. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think science will one day recognize this deeper level of quantum duality?